our channel had just over 100 subscribers and we would like to really bring our videos to the next level. Please comment below right now all the Revit issues or Revit related videos you would like to hear and see in this channel and we will try to make video for all of them. We would like to bring a significant value to you. Therefore, in this video, we will go through three amazing tips for Revit Sheet that will boost your sheet skills in Revit. And these tips will be covered within five minutes. So tip number one will be how to have full control within your view orientation. Tip number two would be how to align all your views properly without using Dynamo. Tip number three would be on how to create a parameter that can be controlled inside the Revit project. So let's jump into it. Before we jump into tips for Revit Sheets, let's quickly tackle this issue Revit 2021 installation error. If you're getting this error, I will show you 10 second tip so you can get your installation and running Revit 2021. You need to simply go to either educational version of Revit or trial version and sign in and select the right version of you are looking for, so 2021. Once you're done here, don't click on the install now, but instead select download now. And in this way, you will be able to install. Just make sure that you have enough space in your computer. Let's get started with the Revit sheets. If we have a Revit sheet that we would like to rotate, we can use simply rotation on the sheet here. But you will notice that in the floor, in the floor plan, uh, all the room tags and even the sheet name is also rotated. So instead of doing this, there is another way which you can keep all the text vertical, but only the model is to be rotated. And this way you can just create, you can activate your view, go into your crop view area, and then rotate your actual crop boundary. So if you rotate this one by 90 degrees, you will see that your text remains the same and everything remains the same, only model has been moved. The next step is, especially when you're using phasing, how to align your views perfectly in all the sheets. Obviously, using Dynamo is the best scenario for this, but if you are doing it manually, what is the best practice? And I have seen a lot of people who tries to zoom in and tries to click and use the move tool and select the corner of the sh of the wall and tries to align with the guide grid. And that's a lot of effort and it doesn't really work effectively because you are not going to do it perf in a perfect way. Instead, what you need to do is you need to go in each page, you need to create, you need to activate your guide grids. So simply if you come here and activate your guide grid and you need to make sure that you have a, at least one or two datum elements inside, preferably two. So one vertical, one horizontal. In this case, I will just quickly add a grid over here and then one more grid line there. So obviously, you know, to make it look a little bit more, um, a little bit better look, I could do this way. So when I have the grid over here, I have the corner as well, meaning I can now see the grid in all of my views. Since my view is previously rotated, I will need to rotate it back in order to have all my views perfectly aligned. So right now, all my views are going to be aligned, uh, going to be in the same orientation. So I will be zooming out, zoom to fit for all my views. And now I can easily come and pick with the move tool, select the view you want, select the move tool. And then you can see that you cannot pick actually the walls, but when it's a datum element, you will be able to pick. So, and then you will be able to pick the grid, um, the guide, uh, guidelines as well. And it's going to the perfect location. So you can do the same thing for all your views. Obviously I need to zoom in because I was zooming out and Snap to the wrong location here as well. And then here as well. And the last step is going to be on how to get additional parameter on the sheets that you don't like, which are which can be changed and controlled in the project. If you go on the sheet and if you want to add one um, parameter, which are which you very click label and add a new label, you will see that you have a limited labels here. So if you want to create a new one, you can create a shared parameter and I can click, I previously created one, which is called company name. You click on this basically to create a new one and just click edit and add new one. Um, you click on the company and then you add it and then you I put it inside here. Um, once I'm down over here, I can simply stretch it and adjust the setting of it 
in a way that I want. And then once I'm ready, I can load into my project. The problem over here is that, as you can see, if I select, I will not be able to change that parameter. That's a bit weird, right? So I will not be able to change. So other people avoid using this because they cannot change a parameter. But instead, you can do this kind of some, some I will show you some tip that which will uh, resolve this issue. So you just simply go on the Manage tab, you go on the Project Parameters, you add a parameter to the project, a shared parameter, and choose the same shared parameter you inserted in the family. And then go down and select Sheets, and then that's it, that's it, you're done. So you just go on the per per preferred sheet you want, so for example, this sheet, and then I will add here integrated BIM. And look at it, it just comes perfectly. If you would like to learn more about tips and tricks in Brevet, I made a whole playlist for you, so you can just click on the playlist and watch all the videos. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel because every week we're going to make three videos for you. Don't forget to turn your notification bell on. See you next time.